Hey, and welcome to EdTech Hustle. Today I'm going to show you how you can use flashcards to help your students practice their vocabulary. We're going to do it with this website. It is called Wayground.com. Now, a few videos ago, I showed you how to create your own accounts in Wayground. You want to start by signing up for free right over here. But if you've already done that, let's go ahead and log in. All right, so here I am on my Wayground dashboard. Now, you'll notice that it says create, so you can create your own terms your own unique terms if you want students to study content from your class but what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can go to Wayground and search for flashcards that are previously created so we're gonna start by searching for a topic so I am going to search for the water cycle and once I select the water cycle, you can see all of the content that comes up. Now, you'll notice there's things like presentations and interactive videos, lots of different types of content, which I'll share with you later. But what we want to do is focus all the way over to the left and find the section that says flashcards. So I'm going to go ahead and click flashcards. And now that's going to narrow my search of water cycles specifically to flashcard activities. Now, when I get here, you'll notice there are lots of different flashcard activities on here and you can see the terms to the right hand side of the screen but there's so many here I want to filter this down a little bit more so I am going to search for my specific grade level let me just say sixth grade and now it's going to filter all of those results specifically through sixth grade now the other thing you can do as well if you like is set this to the number of flashcards so I'm going to say somewhere between one and 10 flashcards. So now I have this many flashcards here I can go through, I can look and I can see which ones are most relevant for my class. So I'm going to click on this one, which is our flashcards on the very top. You can see all of the terms, all of the flashcards right over here. And this teacher, when she uploaded these flashcards into Wayground, she actually tagged the New York State standards, which I think is kind of helpful. But this looks good. These are terms that I want my students to now go and practice these terms on their own. So I'm going to choose this option right over here that says assign. And when I assign, it's going to give me options in terms of uh, end time if I want to add a due date. But I'm just going to leave this the way it is and I'm going to select assign. And here it is. Now this is going to be where I share the link with my students. And the link that I want to share with them is right over here. Maybe I want to put it in their LMS or Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams or whatever. I can just take this link. I can copy it and I can share this with my students. Now, one thing that I will have as the teacher is I will have a way to see what students complete this activity and whether they finish. But let's take a look now and see how this is going to look for a student. All right, so I'm a student in the class. I just clicked on that link, and now it's going to take me to this site where I can add my name. Now, just make sure that if you want there to be, if you want to know the information for each particular student, you just set some sort of convention up so you know which students have completed this. Maybe use their initials, their first name, last initial, or maybe just their unique number, just so you know that students have gone through and done this because it is going to be a self paced activity. Now, before I hit the start button there are a few options if your students are not independent readers there is an option where wayground has like a text to speech feature i'm just going to leave it off but that is there there's also music in the background that students can turn on or off depending on their preference but i'm just going to leave this on and now let's go ahead and hit the start button all right so you can hear that music in the background make it a little louder. So you can see how this works. It's pretty easy. The student reads the flashcard and they have to guess what the other side is or the term. So in this case, here's the definition. Let's see the term by either clicking on it or hitting the space bar. There it is, the sun. Now I can go through and flip this as many times as I need, but if I think I know what I can just select, I know. And now it's going to progress to the second card. What is precipitation? Okay, I'll go through this and Let's say this is not too familiar with me. I'll just say I'm learning. And it now is going to keep track of the terms that I know and the terms that I still have to learn. Now, this is one that has a photo. And what's nice about the photo is if you have something with really detailed diagrams or pictures, students are able to click that magnifying glass in the corner and put it in full screen. So I'll just click through this and I'll say I'm learning this one. And now I'm just going to go through and just do these a little bit quick. 
just to give you an idea of what this will look like. All right, nine out of 10. And I'll just take this one and I'll say I'm learning. All right, I'm all done. I went through and did those 10 flashcards. Here's the summary screen where you can see it looks like I knew seven of those terms. I'm still learning three of those terms. So a couple things I can do from here. I can select this button that says learn now. And now it's going to go back with those three flashcards that I didn't know before. And now I can just spend a little bit of time and look through those again. Now it takes me back to that final screen. I'm just about done. I can restart the flashcards if I want as well, but that's kind of the end of the experience for students. All right, now for teachers, I have this dashboard and it will show me all of the students who have completed this activity. In this case, you can see here is student number one. It shows me that I did complete this. Now it doesn't give me really specific information in terms of how many I knew and how many I didn't know, but this does tell me as a teacher that I did complete this activity with the flashcards. So the website again is wayground.com. It's free, go ahead and try it today. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this content, leave a like, or if you have questions, leave a question in the comment area below. And if you really enjoy this type of content, please feel free to subscribe or leave a super thanks.